Yep. Uh, good morning, Judge Panel, and good morning, my dear friends. So I'm here to talk about uh, the risk characteristics for the initiation of smoking. Uh, I'm Danshan Rajaratnam, who is following the Diploma in General Nursing program at the IHS Institute. So these are my contents. So uh, if you all know that smoking is one major issue that is uh, that leads to uh, many health problems in the world. So what my basic research was to find out was that most smokers initiate the hazardous habit in their youth due to multi multiple social and cultural reasons. So it is important to identify the characteristics that initiated the people to start smoking. Thus identifying their uh, tendency to become chronic smokers. Uh, so my uh, objectives were to identify the risk characteristics which made the people smoke for the first time and the specific objectives were to identify social events which leads to the initiation of smoking to identify the level of addiction among the population and to assess the knowledge that the smokers have about their issues rising from smoking uh, so my uh, methodology were the it is a descriptive uh, cross-sectional study where I did a convenient sampling of uh, 200 and 180 to 200 uh, people uh, among the urban crowd living in Colombo and uh, the uh, method of data collection was an online questionnaire and the data was uh, processed through the ASSP uh, software. Uh, my results were, so the age if you take uh, of the, the majority of the population started smoking between the age of 16 to 20 as you can see there is a 40 6.5 percent uh, uh, value over there and then the sex if you compare between the male and the female so there's uh, it's always uh, there's increased uh, population among males who smoke so there is around 56.8 percent and there is not much less when it comes to the female which is 43.2 percent but let me show you a shocking graph so this is the starting ages between males and females as you can see the pink bar shows the females so what can be compared through this is the amount of female who starts up smoking is at the age of 16 to 20 compared to the boys and it gradually decreases when, when, when they age but the males they, s if they, they do start smoking at the age of 16 to 20 but it, it doesn't gradually decrease it has, it has a slow variable so some questions which I asked regarding what made them to smoke so some so one one question was do your parents smoke and 50 percent of said that their father smoke uh, and 48.70 percent told that none of them smoke so what they're really trying to indicate is that there is a high chance of all the population to smoke if their fathers tend to smoke or one of their parents smoke in their family so the other question was what made you smoke for the first time so as you can see that uh, one one major factor is that curiosity was one major element which made people smoke and the other one which is 18.30 percent is that when when peer uh, when peers ask them to smoke Sorry for the delay. At, uh, then the other question was at what event was your first smoke? And so this was mainly to find out at what social events that made people smoke, uh, that made people to take up smoking as an habit. So majority has told that 57.50% had started up smoking when they, had a when they were at a private party. And uh, the other question which was, was your first smoke associated with alcohol? Uh, the majority have told that they didn't they smoked up alone rather than using alcohol as another factor so with whom did you have your first cigarette so most of them uh, have smoked with friends so as you can see how f the group of people getting together as a group can try people to smoke so uh, after that uh, how do you describe your smoking habit thereafter so you can see there is two made similar results so which is 39.2 percent telling that I only smoked only at similar events with similar people and another 39.2 percent telling that I smoked on and off for some time first 
So, how many cigarettes do you smoke per day? This is one important question which should be asked around to all the people as it is one uh, major question which can tell that are they smoking for a long time? Oh, oh, yeah. So, uh, you can see that there's five cigarettes per week. So, that is the highest percentage which is 59.90%. So, after you have your smoke, what steps do you take to prevent other people from sensing that you have smoked? Use perfumes after smoking was the majority which they are told to hide from what they smoke so that people do not know <coughs> that they smoke. So still smoking or not? Yes, there was 88.90% telling that people do smoke after they have started smoking. So have you ever tried quitting smoking? So 39.90% have told yes, 19% have told no, 36.0% have told thought about it. So what can you see is once you start smoking, it is very hard to leave it back. So my conclusion is, therefore it has been identified that the major reason for the initiation of smoking was curiosity as opposed to peer pressure at very young age and it was found that the majority of girls started off smoking at a young age compared to the boys. So if you minimize the initiative streak of smoking, intervention should be made at the school level. So my recommendations are, social media can be used as a medium, so therefore because many people start up smoking at the age of 16 to 20 and they are the ones who use social media the most. So therefore, awareness programs could be made to, uh, to, spread, to spread the awareness of smoking. So focus peer groups can be used to target the group mostly vulnerable age between 16 to 20. And uh, the accessibility to cigarettes should be prohibited. Always ask for IDs from everyone. Point of sale should be authorized by the Ceylon Tobacco Company. My references. Any questions?